Okay, hello everyone, this is Warpster77 tuning into another video, and today, um, so, just a little disclaimer, my audio fucked up <laughs> when I was recording the Stratego match, so that's why it is the way it is, and I'm just voiceover commentating, um, so yeah, right now I'm just fighting against UFO, he's, he's Bob Marley, he, he, he's sexy, and you'll have to pardon the lag, I'm very, very sorry. It, it gets better over time, I promise. But you're getting the general gist of the idea. I sped it up a bit so that you don't have to just listen to me blabber on and on and just kind of twiddle my thumbs. But right now, he's hitting me hard on the left flank. And I know where his two is. It's that guy right there behind him. So, this is what I was doing with the plan a little bit. Actually, no, I don't know where his two is. I lied. So, anywho, right now, I'm just kind of picking and prodding at his pieces. And that was unfortunate, but you'll you'll be l lucky to see what happens here. So when I move my five up, that's his five that moved up to his nine that I just took, and then he trade kills. But this is what's funny. So I move my four up, and he's gonna attack me with his five, and I steal. So he's down, all of his. He's down a captain, and I ha I still have mine. <laughs> so this is a pretty uh, consequential game. So I already know the ending. Uh, you'll be surprised, to say the very least. It's very long and drawn out. So, uh, much that's like how most, if not all, of my UFO videos go. They're long and drawn out. Needless to say, so, here we got going on here. Um, he's got his four marching through. Now, this is a really bad situation. Like, he had me by the balls here. <laughs> and this was bad. This, this is bad. But lucky, lucky me, he didn't go to the last row. And he just kind of killed himself, which... Which was, eh, it wasn't the best way to go about it, but it was okay. Now I'm a 4 and a 5 up on him, which is really, really good in, as far as the trading game is concerned. Now, I don't want to start trading right now because I do not have a lot of my lower pieces. But he's also fucked up and lost his upper pieces. Now, I kind of snake away that 6, but uh, I don't think it was worth it because I blew up. Yeah. So now I just immediately lost my trading game advantage. So I'm going to hope that... I think that piece wasn't really much. I think it was just a six. Uh, I can't really recall at the moment, but I just know that that piece it didn't do a lot of damage. It, it was kind of anticlimactic. Now, that was a nine, and I figured that was a nine because he was trying to scout out my one, and I was kind of grateful that he didn't really catch it, which was really nice, really, really nice. So, yeah, I just traded with him. It was a six. It. So now he knows where my four is, and that's not bad, but it's not good either. <laughs> so... Yeah, <laughs> this, he was funny, <laughs> except, break, how about a toy? No, <laughs> we got a game to go here. So, he's moving up his pieces. I think he just kind of got confused and didn't know what he wanted to do. So when I start moving pieces, he starts going back and forth, back and forth between that piece there. And he, it's a common thing that he does. He goes back and forth, back and forth, and it's quite obnoxious. But needless to say, uh, I didn't trust that. I'm, I was pretty sure that was his spy. I believe it is his spy, actually. And I couldn't get any of my 9s out through there, but what ended up happening was that 9 actually gets traded, I think, I'm not quite sure. All I know is that I knew that was a bad piece to have advancing towards my 4, and so I rushed my 1 over in case, you know, he was my 2, and my 2 couldn't really kill him, and yeah, that fuck face killed my 9. <laughs> so I tried and scared him off a bit, but that was my, that was his scout, so I decided to play, no, you're not going to get him. And so I think he backs up his piece, if that is what happened. Yeah, he backs up his piece, and I advance it. So I pull back, and I'm trying to get my four out of here. Oh, what? No, I brought my six up. That's right, to kill the scout. But he ends up finding my one, and I killed two of his scouts. Two birds, one stone, which was pretty fucking good. Out of what could have happened. So I think I go on a little bit of a mini spree here. Yeah, I kill that. Got a miner out of the way. That's always good to get out. So I found his last four, which is crucial to the story, actually. So I started advancing my three up. Now, he starts moving pieces, and I think he was talking about, this is bad, this is bad. So he knew he was kind of getting fucked over a little bit. And he knows that's my one, and he knows I'm advancing it pretty hard up the middle. But he doesn't want to trade his one because he knows he's fucked over in the trading game. So this is what he decides to do. He basically is moving all these bullshit pieces around, and I think that was his two... No, that, I'm going after his four, basically. And so, he's moving up his spy over. Yeah, I was right, that is his spy. So, 
This is what I start doing. I start trying to breach from the other side just so I can get some uh, know-how of where everything is. And I get a little cowardice because... Okay, that was a three. Oh, shit. I forgot. So I start moving up my number two just to scare him a bit because I don't know where his one is. And I think his one was right by his three. But I have him pinned down by the neck there. And he sends a scout. So he doesn't think anything. So I kill his captain, which means all of his captains are gone, which is really, really good. And he, his three is fucked. Whether it's a trade or kill, I'm still getting it. So I decided to take the chance, and that was his one. So he kills my general, right? But I did get his three, and I got all his captains, and I have his four by the balls, okay? By the balls, the juicy, thick balls. But this is important because I know, I know that his fours are gone. So unless that was his three, which he's backing up for some reason, is not likely. So I figured either the one that my one is holding hostage right now is his two, which wasn't likely. So he moves his spy down to try and kill my one, and I just obliterate his three, which is good because now I know that he, there's nothing to really kill my fours except the twos. So from there, I, I think I've said so like ten times. Best commentary. Ergo... I kill that piece that was a miner, and I think that was his two. Yep, okay, so I figured out where his two was. So I started advancing my one to start killing bitches. And I needed to kill the spy was the thing. I needed to kill that spy at all costs. And then I needed to kill his general. And that was the thing. So he made a kind of silly move here. He should have just advanced with the one to try and kill my three and so that he could win the trading game because he did kill my two. And he made another silly mistake here. When I move my threes down, there was nothing protecting them. If he went on a killing spree, he could have killed my spy, my threes, and most of my nines. He would have had me completely fucked over. Which would have been really bad because his one has my one hostage and my one is the only thing that can kill his two. Ergo, I was really fucked. I was a space behind and it was just a bad day. This was really scary actually. So I had to start booking my spy out of there because I needed the spy to kill the one. That was the bottom line. I could have lost a three and still won. If I lost the spy, I would have lost unless I magically killed his two. But he moves past my three for some god awful reason. Which kind of comes to bite him in the ass here later. And so I get my one right back into position and just start ball busting. Because I know that piece can't really kill my spy. So I put pressure on his two. So he retreats back and I just make sure that one does not let that happen again. That was too scary. I would have been fucked. The game would have been over. I would have been dead. Like there would there would have been nothing to stop him. I would have been totally fucked. Uh, so what I start doing is I start sending in pl platoon killing sweeper teams uh, with my lieutenant since I don't really have any pieces other than the lieutenants that he can trade with. Like he has a four out there and I kind of lost track of it as I'm watching this video. I don't really know where it is. So I try and scare him out of it and I believe my six actually kills. Oh no, that was his four. That was the thing. So his four killed that piece. So I start waltzing my one up to kill him. And kind of sleeper hold trap him. I was trying to put pressure with my one to kill the four with my three. Which, uh, it kind of was a nuisance. But I needed to get his four out of the way. So that I could start sending in sweeper teams to start killing things. Like my four and my five. Which basically nothing could kill. So he kind of gets spooked and thinks it was my minor when in reality it was my three. He kind of forgot where it was. So I got a double kill there. And his two starts chasing me down. But he blocks me off with the one, so I couldn't do shit. And I couldn't get to his two in time to endanger him, so I kind of took a risk. And I failed triumphantly because those are all bombs. Those are all, all bombs. So I was fucked. I was really fucked hard there. And I just decided to take the easy way out. I should have probably, in the hindsight of things, just let him try and kill it, hunt it down and kill it. But I wasn't going to waste the time and the effort for this video, so I just started sweeper teaming with the three. Because the three can kill basically everything. At this point, the three, four, and five are all basically ones underneath the one and two. So his pieces are kind of in a chokehold and they're pretty fucked hard 
and his one starts chasing my three. So I get the three to safety with the spy, right? And here he comes with the two, and that's where I was like, oh, fuck me. If he comes down here with the two, I'm totally fucked, because then I just lost both pieces that are really valuable to me. So he starts moving his one back, and I have to keep an eye on that two, right? So I decided to switch positions. I decided to switch roles. I got the five up and moving just to kind of scare him out because he's got all his power pieces in a little niche, which kind of intimidated me because I didn't really know what angle to attack him from. So I decided to send my miner out to just kind of scout the terrain and kill some shit. And I back my one up to try and scare him out of it. And I believe his two is the one that comes up. That was his two, I think. But I wasn't really sure. I just knew that his spy was dead and that I had no risks to lose. And he kind of fucked up by losing the actual two. And so I look out. I'm, I'm chasing his one. I'm dogging down his one and he makes the trading kills. So all of his pieces are fucked now because I have a three, a four, and a five. And I start sending my five up to kill the eight. And at that point, it was just kind of a monotonous, where is the flag? And it was a long, drawn-out battle, so I sped it up by two. So it was actually like 34 fucking minutes or some shit. And I defused the bomb. Hardy, har, har, har. It was, a, it was an ape. What? Oh, that's right. He doesn't do what I did. He still has a sergeant out there. He has two. Now the thing is, uh, for some reason, he didn't decide to move his piece when he had the chance, so he goes on a long, arbitrous process of hunting down where my flag is. And I do a little sinister act, and um, he goes through my traps. And I wanted to capture the flag with my spy, and that's why I start moving the spy up. I figured he had a sergeant by his flag, and I just was just going to kill it off with the five. To my surprise, not really. Um, <laughs> so... He starts going up, diffuses that, gets killed by the miner. Oh wait, no, no, no! I, I let him move. I didn't I didn't attack him with the seven. Yeah, so big surprise. There's the there's the seven. But what I wasn't sure of was it in the corner or not. So he gets pretty close, and I let him get there. He he's smart. He know he's watched my video, so he knows the setup. And so he moves his six up to kill the seven even though he knows there's a four right by me. And so I let him, he, so he kills the, he kills the, the sergeant, right? So he moves in his eight after a long arbitrous process. And here I am twiddling my thumbs, not sure if that's the flag or not, which it is, it is a flag. I could have gotten my objective if I just moved up. I could have saved two minutes of time if I just fucking moved up, but that was not the case. So what ends up happening is I, I kill the four, I mean, I kill the eight. Nothing can really get by now. Like, there's no way he could really get past. It's like game over, right? So, he doesn't move the one that I asked him to move, and so I track down this son of a bitch. Ugh, it was long, it was tedious. It was like work and stuff and things. And I should have just cornered him there. But here I am, running him down. And he just goes on. And on, and on, and on, and on, and on, strange lights, people. So I corner him, right? And he makes the move, gets killed. And that's it. He surrenders. He raves the white flag. Victory is mine. Stupid bullshit. But anyways, guys, this is Warpster77 signing out. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, Please leave a like. I'm glad I could get Stratego back up for you guys. I know some of you really, really like